yeah so this streets want to know tv back with another one so this one here is gonna be a little different right today i'm talking about friends and friendships um i just want to start this off by saying fuck friends because you don't really have any friends if you sit back and think about it you really don't have any friends i'm gonna say Out of all the people that you think are your friends, I would probably say 5% is like actually your real friend. So all the people that you think is your friend and they fuck with you and all this, they really don't fuck with you. And to prove this theory, just ask them for some money or Ask them to do something for you that don't pertain to them, right? And see how they treat you. Then you gonna know. Um, y'all might ask why I'm talking about this. Uh, did something happen to me? Uh, something happened to all of us. <laughs> it didn't happen to me today, but it did happen. I just feel like God put this on my heart to tell y'all about it. These are for the people with good hearts, such as myself. You know what I'm saying? Because you help so many people. Then when you need something, they never come through for you. Or if they do come through for you, it's always something on the back end. Like, just always something. You know what I'm saying? Me, the way I work, like if, if I'm your friend, which I've done this, man, countless times, numerous times. If I'm your friend, I'm not questioning why you need what or what you need help with. I'm just going to fucking do it. You know why? Because it's what real friends do. You know what I'm saying? So this video here is for all the good-hearted people out there that care a little too much. And this video right here is for me to tell you that you need to be a lot more selfish. Yeah. You need to be a lot more selfish. You know, I'm the type, I don't like asking for nobody for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, pride is my biggest thing. I don't like asking. You feel what I'm saying? And I just don't like asking. But sometimes everybody needs help. It just is what it is. Everybody needs some help at some point in their life. If you have never needed help in your life with nothing, man, God bless you, because you you one of the few. Because it, it, it really don't happen like that. But I'm just saying, man, I, I could count so many times how many blood, how much blood, sweat, and tears that you put out for another person, man. Help them do something. Help them build them or gave them money or gave them rides countless times that you didn't have to because they didn't have a car or something or whatever the case is, right? It's a lot of different things you can help people with. But at the end of the day, they not going to remember what you do for them. Let me say that again. At the end of the day, no matter what you done done for a person, as time go by, they're not going to remember what you done for them when you need help. They ain't gonna remember. They gonna play you to the left. They nah, I ain't got it. And you know they got it. You know they got it. Well, man, I don't know, man. Uh, let, let me think on it. What is it to think on? I ain't think on it, nigga, when you needed something. When you needed a ride to work, nigga, I got my ass up for you every day or whatever the case is, right? I ain't have to think on it, but you gotta think on it. See, that made me look at people different. Cause this shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? But that's my fault for being a good guy and having a good heart. That's why I'm telling you, all you good hearted people out there, it's time to say fuck friends. It's time to think about yourself. Stop becoming a lot more selfish because the people that we think friends, they selfish as a motherfucker anyway. 
They ain't gonna help you. Trust me. Trust me, I done been through it all. I done seen it all. And motherfuckers that I thought friends, man, they, I just look at them different now. Motherfuckers, I've been knowing for a long time. I could count. And now that this is a count game and what I done done for a nigga, I don't never respect nothing in return. Like, let's not get it misconstrued. I don't never respect nothing in return. But, man, if I come to you, man, one time out of my life, bro, and I ask you for something and you can't give it to me or help me with it, something, I'm going to look at you. It's, it's fucked up, bro. I'm going to look at you different. That shit is fucked up. It's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears within a certain shit. Man, you done spent a lot of time with motherfuckers. They done lied to you, telling you they're going to do this, they're going to do that. Man, you done done certain shit. You done fuck with niggas on business for free, never charge motherfuckers. All it. All it. And man, you ask for one thing and they can't do it. Man, that's what I'm telling you. Man, ain't no friends out here. Ain't no friends out here, for sure. Maybe, maybe 5% of people. But the thing that really go hurt you the most when you find out, like, I'm not lying. Hopefully you never have to, but one day you gonna have to go to somebody that you think or a close friend or whatever like that, and you might need something from them one day. Man, it could be as simple as they picking you up from the bus stop, or they picking you up from the airport, or you need a ride to this new job that you just got, but she ain't got no car. You might need them to help you for about a week. They ain't doing nothing. They sitting at home on their ass all day. They can do it. But guess what they gonna tell you? Oh, I can't do it. Or, yeah, well, just just pay me at the end of the week. Well, well, uh, well can you throw me something? Why I gotta throw you something? I always have you. I ain't never asked for nothing from you. But when you need something, or oh, they need something, or they can't help you, Oh, it's a, well, man, when I'm going to get it back? Nigga, I ain't asked you when you were going to get it, give it back. I want to swing you about it. But when it's you, oh, they want questions. They want, they want answers. They question everything. They want to know when this, when that, and okay, and, man, how long this going to be, and all night. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, it's fake out here. People are fake. I'm telling y'all, man. Don't get your heart broke thinking you got friends, man. And these motherfuckers is fake. I'm telling you. It happens to the best of us. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes we don't be want to let go and we don't be want to believe. All the red flags be there. See, with me, man, you only got one time. When you show me, I'm cutting your ass off. Now, it's a couple of motherfuckers that I done spared and I kept fucking with. And each time, I done got burnt. But you know what? That's my fault because I knew I should have cut you off the first time. So that's on me. And I ain't mad about it. It's just lessons learned. But I'm just telling you, not no more. You gotta say now. Nah. I'm, I'm saying no to anything. Any motherfucker that ain't never, man, I'm, I'm telling you right now, like, I'm finna, I'm finna switch up the whole game. Cause I know it's plenty of motherfuckers that I done free work, shit, free work for. Whether you an entrepreneur or whatever, you done help people and all this. And man, a motherfucker don't want to help you. They can't return the favor. See, this is one thing about friends. See, this, this, this is how I feel friends should be. But everybody ain't like me, so I had to, I had to really understand that. You see what I'm saying? I'm a different type of friend. I don't look for nothing in return, and I just feel like whatever I do for you. I feel like you should be able to do for me. And when you can't do that, if something come with it, I don't need to fuck with you. That's it. Take it how you want to take it. It is what it is. It's 2024. All the fake shit over with.
I got business partners right now I can't deal with cause man, motherfuckers don't keep it real. But it's all good, you know people say, well, they, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you, it's still business, you gotta put your feelings aside and get to the money, yeah, I understand that. Maybe I will get to that, but right now I ain't at that point. I'm just, I just can't do the fake shit, bro. I'd rather, do, I'd rather be by myself. That's just what it is. I'd rather be by myself, man. That's just what it is. Maybe months from now or something, I don't know. You, you know what I'm saying? You 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 might see us out together again. I don't know. I don't know. But that's just how I be feeling, man. And I ain't wrong to feel this way. You get burnt a lot of motherfucking times. At some point, you ain't gonna give a fuck no more. Uh, pretty much at that point now. Cause the good guys finish last, don't they? They always say that. Good guys always finish last. But you know who you know who end up helping you the most? Strangers. People you don't know. They come through every time. And they don't know nothing about you. And them be the ones that help you. I promise you. Strangers be the ones that help you. Or people that barely know you, them gonna be the ones that help you because they can see what kind of person you are. The people that really know you, your, your so-called friends, they ain't for the fuck with you, man. This shit out the window. They ain't for the fuck with you. And if I'm lying, I'm flying. Leave y'all comments in the box. If I'm lying, man, tell me I'm lying. I can take it. But I know I ain't lying. Some of y'all niggas and females are going through this shit right now. Help plenty, help plenty motherfuckers, man. I'm talking about plenty people, bro. Plenty. And the motherfucker can't help me with nothing. Nah. It really just woke me up. That's all. Because I spent my whole life thinking like friends supposed to be a certain way and at the end of the day, man, a motherfucker go, I ain't saying they wrong, but a motherfucker go put they self first. But even when you know motherfucker people can help you, man, that person that you expect to help you, they're not gonna help you, dog. Some might, that five percent will, but that other ninety-five, that other ninety-five percent ain't. I promise you that. I promise you that. But anyway, I was just making a quick video. You know what I'm saying? I want to get y'all some keys to success. Because I'm telling you right now, man, ain't no friends out here. Man, you got to get this shit by yourself. And I hope you don't need no help. Like, like I said, strangers be the ones that help you for real. Like people that you think go help. Even your closest friends, your closest family, bro, they ain't gonna help you, dog. We in a doggy dog world. And black people just don't help people like that. <laughs> they just keep it a hundred. We always in competition with each other. It's always a problem. They don't wanna see you win. They don't never wanna see you win. They will watch you struggle and still not try to help you, bro. That's my people. Our people do that. Black folks, we do that. They'll watch you struggle. Knowing what you're trying to do. You got great intentions, bro. You you help people. You do everything. Man, they will watch you struggle, bro. And they know they can help you. They'll watch you fail. Our, our culture, well, man, I can't get no nigga nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, man, man, fuck all that bullshit, bro. See, that's what's wrong with black folks now. Man, I can't, I can't get into him, like, why not? Nigga, he'll do it for you. Why you don't want to help that man up? You help one man, he can help, man, ten, he can help thousands. But you so caught on a, man, I can't, man, no, nah, I can't get into a nigga like that, man. That's our problem. That's why we always going to be fucked up. But anyway, like, share, subscribe to this channel. You know what I'm saying? Leave your comments. Let me know what y'all think. But like I said, fuck friends at the end of the day. Shit. Yeah, straight like that. Streets want to know TV. 
Man, I'm out.